Like Saturday afternoon, it's probably like, you know, 2.30 in the afternoon. I got a call from um, somebody down in a, in a Richie area down here. Uh, um, a lot of heat pumps down in this particular area. It's all summer homes. Just complaining about, you know, it's probably 75 degrees out and the heat's running in one of, one of the zones. She said you got three thermostats with floor registers, so sounds to me like there's heat pumps there. I'm going to go over there and see what I can find. Um, I, have replaced a, I have replaced a heat pump in this area uh, just last week. So we'll have to see. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you some footage on what I find when I get there. Steve is working again. scenic view of my driving. Some of the guys from over the pond, across the pond, they want to see the, the landscape of America. We want to see what America looks like. Oh, here it is. Here's America. It's a wonderful country. You're going to love being American. Caterpillars up here this year, eating all the tree leaves. Really bad. I don't know if it's just up north here or it's down south too, but um, it's, it's been pretty bad. Gypsy moth caterpillars have been taking over. Get some shot of the trees. You can see the trees, all the leaves are gone on them. Some areas are worse than others. Come to some places, you'll see like um, caterpillars crawling all over the place, and the leaves are really gone. System off. Inside is 82. This is the middle thermostat. She said the one on the left was the problem, so let's see. I can feel the heat. I don't feel like it's blowing anymore, but let's see what the hell's going on here. Definitely hot here. Wow. Definitely cooking here. Oh yeah, she's blowing heat. I don't know if it's a heat strip or what the hell's what's going on. We'll figure it out, but let's find this thermostat. All right, here we go. He is off. So it's, it's a heat pump. Definitely cracking. Look at that shit. Way up there. So this is the system we're having a problem with. I don't hear no heat pump running, but we'll check it out. The side's not bad, it's just that. I think it's coming out of there. It's really hot. Boot is, boot is heating up here. I think Boot is sweating. Yeah, not too bad, but probably maybe the heat strips are stuck open. She said three thermostats, so this was off. So she got three thermostats, three heat pumps. 
I just checked um, my meter here with this off. I got power between red and common, which is 24 volts. Red and common. Between common and all, which would be heat for heat pump. Nothing. So the heat pump ain't, ain't gonna be pulling in. And then between common and W2, or common and yellow, which would be cooling, I got nothing. Between common and W2, which would be emergency heat, I got nothing. So, and then between common and green, which would be the fan, I got nothing. So it must be a bad relay downstairs pulling everything in. I got the thermostat right off the wall, so we know it's not the thermostat. <clears throat> we know that. Train looks like a train heat pump here and looks like in a carrier. But they're not running, so I could check. I knew that by just checking them. There should be another one on the other side of the house. I can hear the air handler running in there. Crawl space. Here's the other heat pump. XR13. This one's not running either. But you can walk right down in here. Another train unit. That's what I like about this. You can just drag it. See the cord? Just drag it. Come on, bitch. You gotta come with me. We found the culprit down here and it's a little little carrier unit. I gotta disconnect. I'm gonna let me take it apart and see what's happening. Must be heat strip stuck open or something. I check all the low voltage. Nothing is um nothing is calling except the, the red and the red and the red and the car. Uh, so there's no bolt to be going between common, white, the W, W2, or the green. So nothing should be running. Alright guys, I got the disconnect pole here. I think it's that double stack heat sink sequencer down there. That's a problem. Saying stuck open. So um, I got another one here. We're going to switch it out. I think should be on like a little delay and then shut shut off the heat strips and shut off the fans. So that's what I have to change that down inside there. Because you don't work on um, you know heat pumps with electric strips. Looks like 10kW there. See if I get that changed out. I got the power off. Looks like there's one screw there. There's 
no voltage, no uh, low voltage going to anything, so it's gonna be that. Okay, so let's see what we got there. Two brown. Make sure I got all the wires hooked up the way the other one was and the low voltage there. I should do it. I shouldn't put the power on. I think it shouldn't run. Okay, cool beans. We got the power back in, so that should be good there. That's what it was stack heat sequencer was sticking it wasn't shutting off it was on heat mode okay cool we'll burn it back up and check it upstairs well, I think it's gonna be good now in this place. Most of them have been changed out to um, oil fired boilers with straight cooling. Most of these places had heat pumps that were all ripped out years ago. Don't make sense up here in the north to run heat pumps, not in the cold winters. A lot of these houses are just summer homes, so they, you know, they're shutting them down in the winter anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, Let's go upstairs and we'll fire it up. Try, we'll try cooling here. I got it on uh, cooling and uh, automatic fan. Make sure the compressor runs and everything on uh, heating and cooling mode. I think the maintenance guy shut the power off to the uh, unit. Power off. I think he shut the breakers. Oh, that's on. That's on. All right, guys. I got this. This. Uh, this breaker's bad right here. I got 240 coming in, but nothing going through the breaker. Even if I flick it on or off, it doesn't matter. So I got to change the square D. So there's a breaker down in the panel. I'm not too concerned about what size I use on this. This as long as this is bigger than the one in the panel. There's that one here. That'll be fine. Get in there and change it. Alright guys, I had a lot of problems with squid D breakers. You shut these things off and then you go to turn them back on. They ain't going back on. Even though they click in, they just no power. So I got the new one in there. Let's see what happens. Uh, 
are notorious for um, not working. It's a weird day, especially out here in the weather. So. It's protected by the breaker and the panel. And if, this is just like a service switch, so I put a 60 in here. See, they get a little corroded. It might have been just that. See how they get corroded there? Well, that bottom one, that bottom one's on a pe uh, on a uh, plastic bracket, so that don't mean shit. Uh, that's just a bracket on the bottom that clips in. The top is what matters. And um, obviously here. Definitely work, and I can. Could... Right, it's working in cooling mode, and we'll try it in heat pump mode and see what happens in heat pump mode. Definitely working in cooling mode. Breaker was bad outside. It's getting hot. On heat pump mode. Cool beans. Oh, she's got them all off, so I'm gonna set them off. I'm gonna shut them off. Bad heat sequencer on that job and a breaker. Not the condenser unit with a lot of power through, so I changed the two out. She's up and going. It's under a bell.